with a man. Alright, so according to the Bible, the woman is not equal nor uh, above a man, okay? Because she's not built for that, okay? To assert authority over man, but to be in silence, alright? Meaning to keep your mouth closed. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not the deceit was not deceived, right? But the woman, being deceived, was in the transgression. That's right. Not the man. It was the woman that was in the transgression. That's right. That scripture is it. The woman was the beginning of all sin. Through her, we all died. Oh, there we go. 25, 24. All right, Sirach chapter 25, verse 24. It says, Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her, we all died. Okay? Tying in with that scripture in, in uh, first, Tim first Timothy chapter 2. All right? So, Ooh, excuse me. Right, so let me get this is revelation and I'll wrap it up. Alright, this is Revelations chapter two, verse twenty it says, Notwithstanding, now this is in red. So this is who you really call Jesus Christ, whose name in Hebrew is Yahusha. All right, he said, "Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest or allow that woman Jezebel." Not talking about the woman Jezebel as as the uh, woman you read about who was married to the king of uh, Israel named Ahab, who had got many of the prophets killed during the time when Elijah. Had challenged all her prophets, all right. The 400, and 400 prophet was the 450 prophets of Baal, and the 400 prophets of the groves, all right. And Elijah uh, prayed, and and most high Yahweh sent down fire from heaven, consumed the sacrifice, and all them false prophets, 850 of them got put to death, all right. It's not talking about her, but it's talking about those women that try to assert authority. In a position as Jez like Jezebel, because Jezebel had a lot of uh, control over Ahab. All right, and she had she and Ahab had led Israel going off worshiping Baal. All right, which is which was uh, which is a sin. All right, is what what really y'all do in these churches? All right, because worship of Baal goes back to the sun, worship of the sun. All right, or the worship of Nimrod. That's a whole nother topic. I says, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman, Jezebel, all right, which calleth herself a prophetess. Oh, I'm, I'm a woman of the Lord. I'm, I'm a prophetess. All right, I see this like Juanita Bynans. All right, she's she ain't supposed to be teaching, but she calls herself a prophetess. All right, uh, what's her name? Paula White, all right, and and many more. Uh, what's that one? And many more of these female prophet, uh, prophetesses, or female pastors, female teachers, trying to break down the scriptures. They ain't what they supposed to be doing, all right. And you ones that know you Israelites, but you out there still teaching. The Lord gonna deal with y'all, man, because you ain't supposed to be teaching, all right. Which call herself a prophetess. To teach, I right, and to seduce my servants, I right, to commit fornication, I right? and this ain't physical fornication. This is talking about spiritual fornication, meaning what? Breaking the law, statutes, and commandments, breaking what the heavenly Father told him to do. All right. 
they going off. And to eat things sacrificed unto idols. All right? Which, that's what they teach a lot in these churches. The female pastors, they don't go in about, uh, uh, they don't, they're not into correcting people. They're into, uh, basically pushing bullshit, man. Get money. So the Lord gonna destroy them. He said, I gave her space to repent for, for her fornication, and she repented not. So, right now, if you watching this, and you trying to be a female teacher, or trying to get your doctrine to be a deacon, or whatever, and you a female, and you trying to be a pastor, or whatever, alright? If you, if you really sincere, and really believe the word, alright? You should repent, alright? And do what the Lord told, told you to do, alright? Because Paul said those things that are, are, are right, they are the commandments of the Lord, alright? So, you know, repent. But it said, and she repented not. So, you, you're going to have a large, large majority of them so-called uh, prophecies and, 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 and female teachers and female pastors and deacons and, and ministers that's uh, out there trying to break down the scriptures in Israel that know they Israelites or, or that's in the world, that's in these, these uh, churches, right? They still want to push that madness, okay? They don't want to repent. That's what the Lord said. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. I mean, the Lord going, he going to put great hell upon you, man. Okay? And all, everybody that's following after that woman, right? They going to catch, they going to catch a bad one from Yahweh by Shemel Shah because they going off. It says, except they repent of their deeds. So that's the second time the Lord had gave you telling you to repent man. All right but if you don't want to repent this is what the Lord said he said and I will kill her whoa 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 it's in red so that's who you really call Jesus Christ he said he said I will kill her children with death and all the churches shall know that I am he who searcheth the reins and the hearts and I will give unto every one of you according to your works all right, so if you want to follow uh, the so-called, if you want to believe in these so-called female prophecies, all right, or these uh, so-called anointed women of God that's trying to teach the Bible, the Lord said he, he will kill you, okay, because you you his enemy. You're not following what he said. Get that real quick. You know, people think this is a game. In the game, the Lord coming back to kill, and He gonna kill all His enemies. All right, Luke nineteen twenty seven. But every but those my enemies, all right, which would not that I should reign over them. So these words that are spoken, these ain't our words. Oh, let me get that. These ain't our words. It's the words of the heavenly Father. Matthew 10, I'll pull that, Matthew 10 and 19, all right, it says, but when they deliver you, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak, for it is not ye that speak, all right, so it's not man that speaketh, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you, all right. Luke 10 and 16 it says he that hear of you hear of me alright and I'm speaking with the scriptures alright I'm not twisting anything I'm reading them as they say and they're linking up and, and I'm making sense I'm, making, I'm breaking it down through the spirit of Yahweh about Shabbat Shabbat alright and it says and he that despises of you despises of me so if you don't want if you don't like what's being said and you get offended then you're going to be destroyed Okay, you're going to be destroyed. And you despise who you really call Jesus Christ. You don't love the Lord. Right? You love Satan. All right? 
if you despise of what is being said. And he that despises me, so if you despise the, the if you despise his servant, then that means you despise the Lord, who you really call Jesus Christ, you despise your house shy, and then you despise the heavenly father. Because he said, He that despise of me, despise of him that sent me. Right? So going back to what Paul said, he said if you be a prophet or a spiritual, right, then you, you should recognize that these are the commandments of the Lord. Right? But if you don't want to operate, this is what the Lord said. Luke nineteen twenty seven. But those my enemies, right, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So you're gonna get your ass put to death. So this is a very serious matter, alright? And you know, I ain't I wasn't trying to be comical or nothing, but just showing that that, that only men all right showing their role and teaching all right and breaking down the scriptures and and teaching people the scriptures that's only given to the men and not to any man but the elect uh the elect the hundred and forty four thousand chosen men all right twelve thousand from each tribe of, of, of the nation of israel which the israelites are you so-called negroes latinos and native americans that wisdom knowledge and understanding of the law or the scriptures is given to them by the heavenly father through his son who we only call jesus christ all right not to the woman okay so with that i want to say all praises to you how about you now shy double honors to the elders of the great millstone shalom to all the akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity i want to say shalom to the brothers up there in north carolina hawada yash uh anak to the brothers down here in South Carolina, to Kabarmov, Amara, Minatazak, and this is the brother Atazawamia from GMS South Carolina saying Shalom.